Uh, I'm Chris, N0YH. I'm the VE team lead for the Kilowatt Amateur Radio Club. And this is uh, our test session. We have Meg with us. So Meg has given us permission to record her for training and informational purposes, and we appreciate that. Okay, Meg, uh, I think we've cleared the room and we've uh, checked your ID. So at this time, if on, on your Google's, your Zoom screen at the bottom is a green share screen button. Go ahead and select that. And when it pops up, it's usually the first default. Perfect. There we go. We just want to clear your computer to make sure nothing is running on there that would be uh, used to help you. It, can you bring that uh, that Zoom back up your your uh, URL again, your web address, your website, uh, oh. your oh, browser? Okay. That's the word I'm looking Sorry. for. That's fine. Okay, so you, now we only have the one open. That's that is fine. Off to the bottom of your screen. There is an up arrow. Yeah. It's got hidden icons. Can you let the mouse hover over each one of those so we can identify what it is? You'll have to close that. Right click and close. And then let's see. Let me just hover over each one of those. Let's see what they are. That's Thank fine. Dropbox is okay. And that one is. Not no, sure. I do. Okay, the next I one think over. It might be Adobe Creative Cloud, but it's it's That's... not working anyway. So okay, just go ahead and continue moving over the icons. We know that's Bluetooth. We know that one in the middle, and that is Microsoft Windows. So we're good. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. Uh, is this an Apple or a Mac? It is a no. It's a, what... it's a Lenovo. We're on Windows eleven. Gotcha. Uh, what I need you to do now, Meg, is to hold down the uh, Alt key and hit Tab. And what that will do is show us uh, any processes running in the background. Just hold down Alt. Just hold down the Alt, and there you go. Perfect. You can let up there. And I'll confer with my team. Is there anything that I've missed, forgotten, or need to look at? Calculator. Calculator. Or will you be using an on-screen calculator, Meg? No. Okay. Are you sure? Because uh, if you need it later, you're not going to be able to pull it up. I'm sure. All right. Very well, then. Let's let's move on. Um, at the top of your screen on your web address, would you type in exam.tools? And hit enter. And click that top blue button that says join exam session. And on that top line where it says Team Identifier, type in the letters K0KWC. And that bottom line where it says User PIN for you today is 0912. Go ahead and join session. And uh, uh, Tim, would you be so kind to turn on the lights, open the door, and let Meg in the room, please? Chew <laughs> out the spiders, whatever you got to do. <laughs> And um, buddy, would you be so kind to generate a uh, an extra? Okay, Meg, this is the beginning of the exam. You've used this before, so I know you remember all the content. I'm just going to briefly discuss them real quick for anybody watching this video for informational purposes. But at the top right corner where it says 50 remaining, that's going to count down to zero as you answer the questions and change to a great exam button. If you should skip any questions, and it's perfectly okay if you want to skip them and come back and answer them, what will happen is on the left side of that same bar, you'll have an orange circle. And that orange circle is a hyperlink to the question that you skipped. And so instead of having to scroll through 50 questions to find the one you missed, just click on that hyperlink. We do ask that you make sure that you have cleared all the skipped questions before you grade, or they'll be counted wrong and score against you. You good possibility you're going to get a diagram or schematics if you do and you have trouble reading it if you click on the diagram it'll go full screen click on it again and it'll go back to the question uh, at the bottom of the 50th question will be the second of two grade exam buttons either one of those will grade the exam for you uh, do you have any questions for us i do not well at this time what we're going to do is uh, turn off our audio and kill our video we need you to keep your audio and video on at all times 
If you have any difficulties with the testing interface, please speak up. One of us come back online. We'll get you back on track. Other than I that, Meg, so. other than that, on behalf of the team, I want to wish you the best of luck. And every one of us look forward to signing your paperwork on the backside. So at this time, Sounds good. you may begin. All right. Thank you. Well, how do you feel about it? How do you think you I did? I think I feel pretty good. There were a couple I was like, oh, I can't. I was I was between a couple of answers, but I think I feel pretty good. Well, it looked pretty good. Uh, so we're going to go to, we have the answers hermetically sealed in a mayonnaise jar buried under <laughs> Ralph's front porch. And I hope he's had time to dig those up. So, and he's got the best eye. So Ralph, uh, would you be so kind to grade Megan's exam, please? I just hope I get the right mayonnaise jar. <laughs> it's wonderful. Congratulations. Congratulations. And once yeah. you have that certificate of successful completion of examination that we'll be sending to you in a PDF here and before you leave, you will have amateur extra privileges. Well done, Meg. Thank you.